Hello, Manchester University. My name is Matthew Wyatt, also known as Grimbo. I'm du I'm Duck190 or Clay Stoltz. And welcome back to Manchester University Esports. We are currently in NACE B team matches for right yes. now. This is week two, correct? Uh, yes, this is their second week of competing. They lost last week, but this week is looking like a very good game for them. So. Oh, yes. And uh, as well, as you said, like, very good game. I, I know we have some stats on them. We mm -hmm. know, I think I know like Mitch and all of B team are like focusing really hard. Like, okay, mm -hmm. we didn't really do too well last time. So we're going to, I'm going to move this over. <laughs> I feel like it's a little too close to you and far away from me. Okay. Uh, I, I know they all have been grinding. Yeah, they have all been grinding really hard. So I'm excited to see what kind of uh, change ups they're going to make to this game. Yeah. Uh, so you quickly, do you want to kind of talk about uh, like what what characters we can expect to see from the other team? Uh, so, according from to Mitch, who did like the stats for this game, they have a Little Mac, a Joker, um, a Sephiroth Marth player, and a King K Rule player. Truthfully, all those are pretty common characters yeah. for collegiate uh, esports. Those are like we we got heavies. We have. Uh, Low, uh, tiers. low tiers. <laughs> I mean, low tiers, but characters that can are known to kill very quickly, and uh, also just cheese of stock and cheese stocks, which ha they have their own niche in mm. crew battles, especially. Uh, are they starting? I think they're choosing. no, they're choosing character. Okay, uh, but it does look like we're going to be starting Siegen, uh Corbin on the Ryu, which I actually kind of like to start uh, against this team because. I Ryu is kind of like I kind of like think of like Ryu as an equalizer. I don't think he's going to Ryu, Matt. <laughs> wait, wait, what's he going in as? A little a little sword fighter he likes to play. Hero? Is he going to go, play I, hero? I saw Hero on the character select screen. I don't know. I think Hero is also not that bad of a choice. I'm a little scared about like things like I, the, the, uh, like if they go in the Mac against Hero because I know Mac kind of likes Hero, likes to fight Hero. Uh, uh, I feel like the biggest one will be Joker. <laughs> Yeah, Hero Joker is also, up too. We have <clears throat> Alex on our B team, who's a Joker player. And, uh, True. And I know, I'm sure they've played quite a bit. Yeah, and Corbin and Alex actually came from the same high school yeah. team. So uh, I know that they have played a lot, especially since Corbin used to be a hero main back when he was in high school. Yeah. So uh, I know that he knows the matchup fairly well. Mm. Uh, well, before we get into it, let's, let, let's recap who's all on the B team. Of course. So, well, we got Mitch with mm -hmm. the Ken. Mitch on Ken. Finally. <laughs> Finally. Give or take maybe a week or two. I saw him playing Min Min earlier. Ooh, no. <laughs> but then we got Alex, the Joker, Alex. like we said yep. before. Corbin, who's playing Ryu and Hero. Ryu and Hero. Maybe even a little bit of PT, which I know he's wanting to pick up. But... Yes. And also Lucario. Also Luc Okay. <laughs> let's, keep, let's keep the characters down a little bit. Let's keep, pick a couple. Then what we got? Caden. With the pits, and then Duncan, who playing whoever he wants. <laughs> Basically, and it looks like we're actually starting our match right now. We have Hero versus Little Mac. This is kind of a start I was a, worry, a bit worried about seeing, because I know Little Mac does kind of like the Hero matchup, because, I mean, yes, we do have Hero with insane, like, projectiles and really good usage of, uh, uh, like, a disjoint. However, the problem is, I feel, is that Little Mac is just going to look to whiff punish everything. Uh, and there's a lot of things that Mac can wh just whiff punish and not have to deal with. I think the like saving grace for Corbin in this matchup is giving me that side B. Oh yes. Wait. And also, I think edge guarding as well is going to be a super huge fact. Yeah. Oh, he never oh. he never misses those. He never misses those. Let's go, Corbin. Well played, Corbin. Uh, for those of you guys who don't know, because Hero is a very common character we see. Uh, Hero has a mana bar, so a lot of his uh, special moves they require mana to use, uh, depending on how much he charges it and like whether like which ones it are it's going to change how much mana it uses. That's not really going to matter that much. What really matters is uh, the lower mana, the less insane moves he can do, and his down B is going to randomize between sixteen different moves. Isn't it twenty-eight? Are... Is it twenty-eight? I think it might okay, be twenty-eight. Okay, it's twenty-eight <laughs> different moves that are all gonna affect the match differently. So it's really important from the hero's perspective to get those kind of, uh, to get those kinds of, uh, like, let's get, like, get those good random options and then learning how to play around those options depending on the matchup. That was a really good pivot up tilt from that little Mac, by the way. I'm, I'm a little surprised to see Battlefield not banned against little Mac, because little Mac's a very grounded character, but like surprisingly, Battlefield might be his best stage. Oh yeah. Oh, that's actually dead from the kaboom. 
Uh, looks like maybe bad DI on the Little Max part, which I don't blame him. That's a oh no, this could be it. This could be it. It's a hatchet man. Sixty three percent already on the board. Psych up. Oh no. Up tilt. He's at ninety two. And the snooze. Okay, he jumps over it. But F tilt two this coming out. KO punch. We cannot. We cannot disagree with that. That's going to be huge. He could have done down tilt uh, KO punch, but he didn't. This is, I don't know if it would have killed, but this is looking like a very Corbin two stock right here. Yeah, and right there, that shield coming in super and useful. That's game. Yeah, well, you can't, you can't, you can't get it right. Corbin that. popping off a little bit in the camera. <laughs> yeah, I mean, very well played from Corbin. Give me one second to actually like fix these scores. <laughs> well, a very, very good first game for just like the, as a start for this crew battle. The Corbin hero is cooking right now <laughs> corbin hero is indeed like, cooking and the thing with this hero is you can just tell he has so much fun while playing that character <clears throat> yeah i mean i i agree like he has a ton of fun playing that character and as well as that i think uh hero does offer a really good niche in a crew battle setting that uh you know ryu didn't really quite offer uh ryu like was a really solid equalizer but because he was playing ryu like ryu really struggles into these zoners mm -hmm. uh which especially in yeah. wi-fi crew battles these tend to be the harder carries of a of a team and also hero like sometimes can just struggle to kill yeah in which um hero can just kill at <laughs> whatever percent he wants to yeah hero uh, hero does have some um, some obscene things that come with the gameplay uh, and it's really, it's really important that if you get really good at abusing those gimmicks, yes, it can make, it can make some matches, some unwinnable matches, super winnable just by, I know, I know this one thing and you don't. So mm. I don't know, wait, I don't know if this is bad to wear on stream. What? <laughs> it's my Dairy Queen shirt. I think you're fine. <laughs> I should be fine, but I'm hopeful that it's not that awful because... Maybe I should have my jacket on, just in case it is a product placement thing. Where, where, is your jacket out there? My jacket is out you want there. Let me go grab it real quick. No, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Can you go grab it? Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> I'm just worried about sponsors and stuff. Um, but I mean, you know, like, uh, I think yeah, Hero like really offers that compatibility uh, with the team as well, since we already have the Ken. Yeah, uh, we're we're already going to have the close range kind of uh explosive type gameplay we don't really need ryu as well which has a similar kind of gameplay strategy although it's a bit more in the mid-range did you explain to garrett why no, I garrett. okay uh oh yeah garrett's running the scrim or the the match for uh c team league oh we're starting oh oh, oh no. switch the switch the camera oh, Matt, no. Matt, Matt, oh, transition no. transition okay there it is okay Sending Palutena. Palutena. I actually really... I'm surprised he doesn't lead the Palu. I feel like Palu is one of the best leads you're going to have. And if you have a Palu, why not just lead the Palu? I agree. And this is definitely a surprise to the B team because Palu is not on their radar at all. No. Although, to be fair... Ooh, nice combos. Nair, side B, they're not bad. Uh, but, like, I feel like Palu is... It's one of those characters that is known if, like, you're a zoner, she can kind of outzone you. If you're a like a brawler, she can kind of just beat you out with uh, with disjoints. If you like are really good at certain things, Palu can catch you for that. She has all the tools necessary to kill you early, to edge guard you, do a ton of different things, and I think it's like super consistent. Oh, oh no. no, that might be it. Palu oh, does okay. She knows to, to send them the other way, but uh, Palu does not have the strongest smash attacks. That's one of her weakest points. Is that she kind of relies on like confirms getting uh kills and what well, palu is just one of those characters in this game that's like good into almost every character oh yeah absolutely even the characters that she's not obscenely good at she like she's okay against mm -hmm. she can hold her she can hold a battle that was, against that was really good this palu is actually really good i'm noticing a lot of uh really good aspects of their gameplay that they're uh abusing especially they, i feel like they at least know how to play against a hero a, lo a lot yeah because the, the biggest downside of Hero is that like all of it, a lot of his moves just send horizontally. So if you're just yeah. like in that space above him, like at a 45 degree angle, that can be like very deadly against Hero. And Palu does like to be at that angle as well, because uh, she's using that as, those nares, trying to get hit with that nair, uh, and a falling back air, of course, intangible hitbox, really hard to deal with. Okay, we're currently at 66 percent. Psych up on deck. This could be a potential kill for uh, Hero. Yup, that's Let's gonna go be a Corbin. solid fair. 
Uh, Hero is a little so, bit low on mana, though, but if he can get a couple good hits in, every time he hits the opponent, he will get some mana back. So, so. And when he takes hits, too, right? For, uh, no. When he gets hit, he doesn't get mana. Okay. But for those who don't know, the, um, Corbin did the move Psych Up, which basically the next move that he hits is, like, insanely strong. Yeah. Which is very good for securing kills as Hero. But it's only the next hit, yes. right? Because oomph, he also has the option to get oomph, which uh, does the same thing but over multiple hits. But it's a li little bit less strong. Okay, like the Crackle Slash. However, she gets the parry. 132 on the hero. It's going to be kind of tough. Good use of F01. <laughs> okay, and the, uh, like second that charge uh, side B. Really strong. We have the oomph on deck. F tilt coming out 119, 121. Palu could lose the stock. We have bounce, meaning that projectiles are not going to work right now. Corbin's playing really well right now. Corbin's playing very well, but mm. right there the air dodge. Corbin was air dodging a lot back to stage, yes. uh, and it is good to see that the Palu realized that and said, "Hey, you're air dodging back to stage. I'm just going to target you and and get rid of this this notion. You're not allowed back on stage so, on my terms." Who do you think will um, we will send in? Who do you think we will send? Uh, I honestly feel like... Um, they have 8 bucks. They have... Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I think our best send here against Apollo... Loki, maybe Caden. That'd be fun. A Kid Icarus I feel battle? Like, I feel like Caden might be kind of an insane send here. Caden, on, on the lowest key, Duncan. <laughs> Duncan, maybe, I think... The war, only worry I have with Duncan is that if he goes in as, uh, I think Zelda, I think I don't Samus think or Duck work. Hunt will work. I think and those will either of those will work. I yeah. think I think Duck Hunt might be the best play here. But it's looking like Duncan is going in right Duncan now. Is going to be going in with as Samus. Um, the green dark Samus skin. I don't like this. I Samus, don't think it's that bad. Samus loses the Palu like minus two. No. Yeah, I mean, okay, that's no. what Samus players say. So I can, I can only Samus base players off of are that. delusional, man. <laughs> Excuse me. They all think their character sucks. <laughs> they do. I mean, don't we all? You think your character sucks? My so, character's you know. busted, but <laughs> I'll tell you that. There's My character. <laughs> character's awful. Absolute buns. You get you you want like nice warm buns from a bakery? Play piranha plant, dude. <laughs> So, Duncan Samus just plays different than any other Samus you'll True. see. True. I think, I think Duncan Samus, it's it's a very Wi-Fi playstyle, but it works in a crew battle and setting. Duncan just, like, when he plays Samus, especially in, like, a crew battle, he just enters, like, a flow state. Yeah, and I think entering that flow state is sometimes really important because you can kind of ignore nerves that way. Mm -hmm. uh, especially if you're, like, getting caught up in the moment, like, oh, what do I do, what do I do, what do I do? I, I think Duncan... I don't know if it's like obliviousness or if he is just so like in tune with Smash. But I, he just I don't think he gets nervous. I think he just does things because he know it will work. Yeah. <laughs> uh and especially like, you know, Wi-Fi crew battle, like a lot of things will work, either from unrea being things being unreactable or you know, sometimes you just outplay the opponent in that same yeah. way. And I think Duncan utilizes those really well. And there's a thing about like like in the perspective of the other team. It's like it's impossible to prepare for Duncan because you don't know who he's gonna play. No, you don't know how he's gonna play. He doesn't even have a start bat GG. I'm, I'm pretty, pretty sure. sure. I'm pretty sure he does. Okay, but it's I like, think he made one for Riptide. Yeah. Okay, I think he did. Actually, I think you're right. I think he made a a start dot GG for Riptide. And if you look at ninety percent of his vods, they're a ton of different characters. You're, he doesn't have a Twitter, and if he does, he doesn't talk about Smash on it. He probably he has a Reddit. But he has if, you a go, Snapchat. if you go find his Reddit and Snapchat, I mean, good luck with that. <laughs> but we are getting into the, the Samus Palu. Uh, I wonder what stage they're going to. I, I think I saw Town and City. No, it was Small Battle. World. Okay. This is a, honestly, I agree with the stage choice. I feel like Town and City was the better option, personally. I think if. But if. if up Air and Uppy are so good on this stage yeah. as Samus. We just have to see if Duncan can like manage to pull off the uh, like the up air ladders, mm -hmm. uh, which if he can, it'll be very important that he gets those. I saw a 10% coming from the fair. Up the out of shield, naturally. Okay, 
little bit worried because one of the weaknesses I think that comes with uh, Samus is that a lot of characters, they want to like jump over Samus's options, but Samus wants to cover those, can cover those really easily. But Palu, I think, is naturally really good at kind of maneuvering around things like that, especially with back air, especially with uh, her faster movement, which I, I didn't even realize how fast she was until I started playing her. That like, this character is. is fast. Yes. And I feel like faster characters tend to do much better than Samus, so I'm worried to see how Duncan is going to manage to maneuver around uh, this kind of speed. And he's using a lot of rolls, which I don't like seeing either, uh, just because these rolls aren't really doing much, I don't think. They're, uh, but on the bright side, the ball is not punishing the rolls. True. If if you're not punishing it, then don't you know don't fix it if it ain't broke, right? <laughs> exactly. I'm not the biggest fan of these smash stacks that he's throwing out, but like, other than that, he's applying like a lot of pressure with that full charge shot that he's had going on there. Yeah, the one thing I want to mention is that I think Duncan's use of grab here is that he could be using it from a little bit further range. Samus has the largest grab in the game. Uh, and this, a lot of what this Holly is doing right now is she's coming in from this 45 degree angle and punishing a lot of things that Samus is doing. Uh, and as you can see right there, she came in like 45 below uh samus which is really hard for samus to cover right there really good in there from uh duncan as well baiting out the, the baiting out the air dodge from the Palutena. okay nair out of shield although not an optimal combo at all i think that palu could have gotten nair 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 <laughs> into <there>. an imagination <laughs> into imagination like whatever the palu wants that counter worked <laughs> that I'm counter worked. Is that active although to be fair that counter is one of the weakest ones in the game isn't it I think so. Yeah, so, I mean, I don't think that counter's going to be too huge of a factor when it comes to getting kills, but, I mean, damage is damage, right? Yep. Okay, looking for a ledge trap here. Holding Duncan. onto this charge shot. Just ready to rip it at any second. Okay, catching the jump with fair. Duncan trying to, trying to catch something with these aerials. Not quite finding the mark just yet. Probably going to get a grab out of shield. Looking to get a combo extension on the platform, finds it. Duncan needing to get back to ledge, finds his way back, gets off the ledge too. That's a huge punish, but nothing uh, huge going to come from it just yet. Good get another grab, grab. Duncan. Now that Duncan's using these grabs, it's kind of punishing this Palu from holding shields and using counters. That would have been insane if uh, <laughs> if, if Palu didn't sp uh, air dodge there. Okay, not bad. Back air. If Duncan can take this next stock without losing one, I think it will be really good for Manchester, uh, but unlucky, bad DI on the F tilt. But Duncan should be able to close out this stock any second now. Uh, you gotta be a little close for that down smash, Dunk. Yep, right there. Duncan using the retreating fair into back uh, down smash. Not going to quite find the kill, but we've been seeing him do that a lot for these ledge traps. There's the fair, not going to quite hit. There's the and nair. And then I'll take it. <laughs> Manchester up seven to six in the first game for the uh, Smash B team. That was seven so. To six. I, I'm wondering if that Paulu is either their Joker or Sephiroth player. I wouldn't be surprised if it is. Because I feel like people that play those characters also can play Palutena. Yeah. Well, I mean, Palu's like, it's kind of like a, I don't want to say a nothing burger player character, <laughs> but it's, but it's, it's kind of a character that it's so malleable that a lot of players can play Palu. Yes. Uh, players can switch over to Palu. Players can pick it up as a secondary. It's very. It, it's it kind of a catch all, right? Not insane at any one thing, but good enough to be a threat at everything. Very easy character to understand the basics of. Yes, absolutely. Like mastering any character is hard. Well, just like picking up and wanting to learn Palu is not that is not the hardest thing in I, the game. I almost want to say that might have been like the Marth Sephiroth, since Marth and Sephiroth, you know, they're not known for these mm. super high combo strings, and that Palu wasn't really getting a ton of combos. Uh, so, I, and this might sound really weird, but Sephiroth and Palu are like kind of very similar. No, yeah, I, I understand <laughs> it, that. It sounds weird, but they're like, similar. Yeah, like they, the, they have the zoning options. They mm -hmm. have the. Uh, uh, like the the disjoints that they want to use, they really rely on advantage state and uh, ledge trapping in order to get a lot of their percent and uh, kills. So no, yeah, I see what you mean there. 
Uh, so I, I, yeah, I'm willing to agree that it could totally be the Sephiroth. Well, it's this is the Joker coming in too. So it could have. It could so it's still, it still could have been I, sending Joker. I don't. I think this is a smart play. Yeah, I think Joker is generally a pretty smart play. I will say, Joker and uh, Palu on the same team is a very strong combo. Yes. Just because tons of characters really struggle against one or two of them. Uh, uh, and even like a lot of like lower tier characters, even if they do okay into one, they don't do well into both. Yeah. And what I, I used to play Joker, and this matchup, it's, it's hard for Joker, but... If you know what to do, it's it's very like winning for Joker. Oh yeah, I'm sure. And right here we see pretty good 44% coming out from the Joker. Uh, it should be noted for uh, people who don't know at home, Joker, you know he has Arsene. That meter on the uh, just above his profile is it's going to be important to watch that meter because as that fills up, he's going to get Arsene, which right here is going to superpower all of his moves. They're all going to be stronger. They're all going to be doing more damage, and they're all going to have even just some extra effects added on top of them. Yes. So it's really important that when you're the Joker, you want to get this Arsene when you want to get this kill, and to make sure you're using the absolute most of it, getting your opportunities to get in. And if you're fighting against the Joker. Loki just run away. <laughs> oh uh, no! Got the, the tragic down air. Spike on Duncan. Duncan played very well during the two games that we saw him in for this first match. Yeah, I think I think Duncan definitely did what he needed to do. He mm -hmm. needed to get rid of the Palu, uh, get her out of the equation, and now that now that she is out of the equation, uh, I think uh, I think it's a Caden or Mitch send. I think it's a Mitch send. A hundred percent of the time is right here. <laughs> Mitch, Mitch makes the most sense to send in here. Because what do they have after that? They have after this, assuming... Uh, assuming it's a K rule. Assuming the K rule after? It, it could be K rule or Sephiroth Marth, depending on which character right. played, I would, who played actually, Palu. I wouldn't be surprised if the K rule played Palu. I yeah. wouldn't be... I, I feel like the K rule... I wouldn't be surprised I feel like the K rule of Palu pipeline is real. <laughs> <laughs> the K rule of Palu pipeline is really real. I see it. I see it. But... Uh, no, yeah, I do absolutely think that it's it's entirely possible that we could see a uh, a Mitch in here. I think Mitch is really strong, yeah. and as we see, Mitch is going in. Uh, I think Ken is just too strong yeah. into and into K rule. Mitch is so good. Yeah, as Mitch well. is really good. I think Mitch saw that Joker's like, okay, I understand what I need to do. And not only that, if you can get rid of Arsene, if Joker can die before he gets Arsene, it's it can be over. Like it can it can be over and so fast. What? Mitch also has just been on the grind with this game, like this yes. past week. He's been playing like so much every day, improving so much. Yeah, I'm really. I, and by the way, they're fighting Northern Kentucky, so you know Dude. it only makes sense to, to play the Ken, obviously. Uh, but right here, really strong combos already coming out. Twenty seven percent. Right here, I mean, it's all going to revolve around the mid range, how the mid range is played, because Joker is exceptionally good at the mid range. But once he let, lets up even the slightest bit in terms of microspacing, Ken gets in and Ken does Ken kills. <laughs> <laughs> That's crazy. That's not good DI, I, by the I, way. I, I, Folks, <laughs> if you want to DI Ken Shoryu, you, you do not die DI that way. You DI down and out, and you do not die. I, I, Joker I, did not know that. <laughs> I wanted to say that I think like with how Mish plays Ken would work like just the pacing works really well against how this Joker is playing. Oh yes, absolutely. Like this, Jokers tend to play either really fast or really slow, and I think faster gameplay suits better for Ken. Because mm -hmm. Ken just is gonna. By the way, that was a that was a clean on combo with the hot with the hotto. Mitch's combos have been like out of this world as of recently. Oh, that's oh, insanely that, that. good roll read! He knows, he just knows. You're gonna roll read out of this. There's oh. like one frame where you can roll and if you're gonna mash it, I'm gonna catch it. And he caught it. Mitch is locked in right now. Mitch is locked in. I think Mitch can totally take another without losing a stock. I think so as well. I think this is like without our send, this Joker is kind of struggling to find like a meaning th meaningful hit. Yeah. I mean, that's, I feel like that's kind of like the the problem with Joker is that oftentimes he really needs to get these meaningful hits and without Arsene, half of those meaningful hits will never come. Unless, of course, he gets the edge guard. That was an insane recovery! The high shore, you duh. Oh no. Please DI it. Okay, he DI'd it right this time. What? <laughs> okay, I'm surprised he went that way. 
and the downer not catching. He there's no more Arsene. These he are... needs to rebel guard something. Cat trying to catch the the air dodge down. His uh, Mitch and Shoryu's He's... right now are crazy. <laughs> All of them are catching. Not I don't think a single one <laughs> did any of them miss that work for recovery. I don't think other than the one that got countered. I guess. I guess you could say, yeah, I guess you could say that that one miss. But even then, like, that one said, it sent him that way. <laughs> like, make it make sense. <laughs> like, that was, M that Mitch, was a That game right there showed all the work he's been putting in to this Absolutely. game recently. Not like that, but, like, Ken is, I think Ken's insanely good at crew battles. Like, like that is just, like, a good thing to show. If you are not will able to, like, deal with Ken in close range, and that can sometimes just be a playstyle thing. Yes. Sometimes it's not just a character thing. Sometimes, like, if you just approach the game in a way that's not good against Ken, you can just get just exploded, just disintegrated, because Ken can just do that. And what, um, Ken is, like, one of those characters where, like, a lot of characters in the game, you can fight without knowing the matchup, really. But oh, if you yeah. don't know the Ken matchup, that is, like, detrimental to... Oh, yeah, absolutely. Fighting Ken. Not like that, but like especially if like the like Ken knows all like the the frame traps and stuff. Like I mean, we saw it in that game. He would do like I don't remember. I think it was like down tilt, down tilt, up tilt one, yeah. or like light up tilt, and then bait out the roll out, and then ran forward down tilt, down tilt, shore <laughs> you at the yeah. kill. That was insanely well played. And if you don't know that 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 kind of thing, and GGs. Like, if you don't know like the SDI against Ken as no, well, no SDI, DI. I mean, we saw it even with the first talk. Joker died at 70. You should not <laughs> be it dying. Below 70. It was like a little below 70. And he just died to assure you because it, it looked like he just died it bad. The opponent has chose FD. Chose FD. Bowser. I don't I think, know. I think Mitch is happy about this. Look it at it. He looks like, pretty he happy. He looks happy. Or bad. I don't know. <laughs> now, okay. Bowser is an interesting case because I think Bowser is also one of the best crew battle characters in, like, in the game. And it's because Bowser can play relatively safe while also being a really heavy character. Uh, and especially if you struggle to find these kills, you know, it can be really hard to fight a Bowser. But, but we're fighting, we're playing as Ken. And I I, th I know Mitch is like kind of prepared for this matchup because I've seen him fight like three different Bowsers on Smash Bros. in the past week. <laughs> yeah, Bowser is, I mean, Bowser is one of those characters where, you know, if you're ready to fight this character, it can be really hard to fight a as bowser right there that was a really good f smash <laughs> catching mitch on the the falling uh focus but right now i mean bowser is shown to be like in control of this game but ba bowser like is truly oh. just a test of how good like your combos are how and, good like, your, your combos are and situational state. situational awareness as well like understanding hey bowser is here he's going to do this option and, and right there a stock from mitch that's going to be another stock from Mitch coming out. Honestly, two stocks each, I think. It's hard to say who's going to win because it's these two characters are super volatile. Yes. Bowser can sometimes die at low low percents because he gets gimped off stage. But it's Ken. Ken can't really <laughs> gimp people off stage that well. And Ken can get gimped easily off stage. Ken can get really gimped easily. But by the same token, Bowser... Bowser being heavy is not that big a deal against Ken because Ken can just do things like this. Okay, a little Mi bit. Mitch is in his mind with all these grabs. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> I think once this Bowser realizes that he's getting grabbed a lot, we're going to see a lot less shielding. And, that and that's what stock? Ken wants. Yeah. Northern Kentucky on their final stock for this game one. That's like, it's not going to quite kill if Mitch just, yep, Mitch the Isaac correctly. Ooh, Mitch, uh, insane I, I recovery. Key, I, felt... I like the Hado there. <laughs> Loki, I was thinking, what if he just dares <laughs> right here? Uh, I don't think it kills, truthfully. I, th as, I don't as, think Bowser as had a hype jump. as it would. Oh, yeah, that down beat. Interesting option, but catching Mitch right here. Mitch on last stock against Bowser. Now, this is always one of the hardest things to do because Bowser, that was an insanely good focus. Here's the combo. Oh. Trying to get the reset with the focus, not quite Missed the cancel. It. I like the recovery, dashing back to avoid the fair. These Hadoukens off ledge have been like so good for Mitch. Oh yeah, and Bowser's really been struggling trying to punish these. I feel like if Bowser wants to punish me, he wants to like and full hop and then fair them on the on the down. That's he dies game. to the roundhouse. So Manchester takes game one <laughs> against Northern Kentucky University, I assume. Yep, Northern Kentucky does lose game one. 
Very well played from Mitch. Yes. I think I, I think all of them played incredibly well. Everyone played very well. Uh, I do want to point out that like everyone in that situation did their job. Mm-hmm. Like we saw the Palu. Okay, we got rid of the Palu. We saw the uh, the Little Mac. Got rid of the Little Mac. Well, we we ha- we got rid of the Little Mac with the lead, which was yeah. really good. I think Corbin lead was a really good think, call yeah. from the B team. I was I was a little bit worried. I was a little bit worried because I know Hero Ken can some or Hero Ken Hero Mac can be sometimes a little like, iffy. It, it, it sounds annoying to get like your spells working and all that, but because Little Mac will be in your face the whole yeah. time. But I mean, as we saw, he played it very well. He kept his composure and he was able to clutch it out. Uh, and then we dealt with the Palu, and then once the Palu was gone, there was no one to counterpick Mitch. Yeah, Mitch could not be counterpicked at that point. Like, so I, I think saving Mitch as an anchor, or like maybe not anchor, but like on the latter half of the group battle, is really smart from the B team. Yeah, I think it's really important to play it like it's a, uh, you know, I'm going to make a Pokemon reference. Uh, you have to play Mitch like he's your sweeper, right? He's yeah. he is a really strong player. He knows all the limits to his characters, and he knows what he can and can't do. Because of that, if you remove everything that will cause Mitch to not be able to do it, then he can do it. He could just yeah. doesn't matter. I deal with this guy. I deal with this guy. Let me in. Well, that's and that's how I think B team has to play. Is that they have to send in like these setups, these setup people to be, prepare Mitch so he could spike it and just end the game. Yeah, it's looking like they're gonna send Corbin in again. <laughs> As the lead with Hero, I who do you think the Northern Kentucky's gonna start? I th- I'm I, thinking Paulo. I think Paulo. I think Paulo I mean, or Joker. I feel like they should start Paulo. I think Paulo or Joker. Is I the think Paulo is the correct answer, but I could imagine they send in Joker as well. I like because fundamentally, in terms of matchup chart, I think either or is fine. Yeah. But I think the problem with Joker is that you know, especially when you when you have that kind of a playstyle, like Joker was obviously a very fast playing Joker. When you ha- when your opponent is you know hero, uh, actually maybe not hero, but like hits and yeah. uh, Ken and these characters where you have to approach the game in a slower way, I don't think Joker is a very strong. I le- I don't think fast Joker is a very strong pick no. unless you can force yourself to play slow. But I, I on the contrary, you kind of want to play fast against hero. Yeah, well, I was about to say against hero. I do think yeah. it is so. It's basically they're reading if yeah uh, they're gonna start out hero again, which we are. <laughs> you didn't <laughs> hear that from me. Don't listen to the stream. <laughs> but I mean, I no, yeah, I I agree with you a hundred percent. There, I, I feel like it's just such a risk that if you don't know, if you don't know if they're gonna lead somewhere or not, then it's not very it's not a very good idea. I don't think no. to to lead them. And okay, we're going to read that they re- they start this guy. In fact, I think we've done it in one of our games last semester, and we read that and we lost because we didn't get uh, counter pick advantage and we couldn't like snowball off of Which that. Which match? Uh, Oakland. At Riptide. At Riptide, we read. Min. Okay, they're going to lead the Pac Man here. Min Man. Min Min. Min, 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 min. Unlucky. <laughs> and we lost by one stock. And we lost by one stock every time. But anyway. right, we lost by like two ones. <laughs> oh yeah, you're right. You're right. There. Two once or twice, but even still, like like that is just like kind of an example of like how important it is to start off with neutral leads because even a neutral lead can sometimes be better than a winning lead so, if certain things. The happens. stage is town and city, which leads me to believe it's Palu since that's where they went last time. Yeah, Palu. I think Palu is the best option. Yeah, yeah. Right smart there. smart choice from Northern Kentucky. Yep, and Palu and a hero. I know Palu is relatively okay in this what? character and. Corbin was keeping it very competitive with Apollo the last time. Yeah. At least, like, almost taking two stocks when he had two stocks. It was, yeah. like, so close to getting the second one. I think it's all going to come down to how well Corbin is going to be using this menu from uh, from Hero. Because, I mean, this is this is the X factor of the matchup. Right there. Example. Two of Apollo's most important moves, or two of Apollo's, like, super important neutral options, gone. Right, just like that. Yeah. <laughs> Especially since I think Hero has one of the best anti airs in the game with up tilt. Well, like, I'm, that's going to be super important. I'm oh. loving these um, jabs from Corbin. Yeah, like kind of mixing up. Am I going to go for it? That would have been an insane spike, but not going to quite hit. I like I like the bait there. I like the bait there of I'm going to choose a projectile, force the counter. The boom two framing the Palu. 
Yeah, these snoozes aren't quite hitting, Good but backer. they're forcing. Ooh! That was a nice, nice night. That's really well played. <laughs> Corbin popping off a little bit in the player cam. Yeah, but right here, he needs to find his way down. He finds his way down, gets a back air. Down throw. Insane fair. grab. Ooh! 40, 40 mana right on the board. Now he has anything, any, um, just the right amount of mana to do whatever he wants right here. Oh, and that back air is not going to quite kill. That's and killing that. That'll take the stock. 50% 50, uh, 50 extra credit on the Apollo. Yep, but Hero with full mana, always kind of a risk. And here it is, bounce. No more auto radical, no more explosive flame. And also, what's huge in this, no more counter, like reflecting the projectiles. Yeah, no, yeah, that's actually really huge as well. Because uh, we saw the it's, first it's, game, he, uh, the Apollo reflected the snooze. Yeah, but, I mean, now if he gets it back, then... You know, if she reflects it, it's going to reflect it back and be, like, what, four times as strong? Something like that? It's going to be, like, obscenely strong. I don't know, how, like, what the multiplier is, but it's it's a good amount. Well, because it's multiplied, and it's getting multiplied again. So, it, I mean, it's going to kill whatever it is. <laughs> okay, there's the Nair into Fair. Not the hugest combo in the world. Oh, no! The Politana SDing. That's, that's huge for us. Huge for us. I think... I feel like that was just like a weird angle to recover at when you're on town and city is that you kind of have to angle yourself away from that ledge like that okay there's a down tilt into side beam not gonna quite find it hey good tech chase from the palu Ooh, i don't like those air dodges but what matters most is if he's living or not which he is he is living he is at 40 <gasps> percent is that game oh, no i thought no, the palu didn't have a jump my fault <laughs> No, if she honestly, I was expecting her to go into the stage and Corbin spikes her, but I don't know how that interaction works. So, jumping into it, gonna actually go high. I like the option from Corbin. Ten, These ten mana. On side that. bees have been so smart. Just like releasing them right when, like the Apollo stops shielding. Yeah. Explosive this flame, is not super killing. Close. Oh, and there's the air dodge. Palu thought, okay, he's not going to air dodge this time. I'm going to catch it. No, he air dodge strike that again. Back throw will take stock. Palu at 70%, Corbin at zero. Yep, and honestly, with 66 mana, he can play Zoder. 30% from Sizzle. Oh, the F smash catching the jump. I'm, I think that was a crit. <laughs> I mean, it, I think even if it wasn't it a was, crit, it, it was, just kills. It was guaranteed death, but I'm pretty sure that was a crit. I mean, yeah, I... So, yeah, that was just insanely well played from Corbin. So, uh, for those that don't know, um, Hero has a mechanic for his smash attacks where it's, a, I think, a 1 in 8 chance where his smash attack is a critical hit and it just does, like, like four times the amount of damage and knockback. Which you can... If you hit yeah, one of those at, like, 20%, that's like that. just death. Yeah. I mean, I remember we saw we saw August, like, going against a Hero. He was at, what... 10 he was yeah. at 10 percent, and it gets f smash crit with psych up for and <laughs> explodes just he's gone literally cut in half by a real sword uh, for the, for those um at home watching supposedly corbin was listening to all i want for christmas is you out loud just blasting it out in the lab i love I actually, that i actually remember <laughs> i too. love that he calls that san uh that uh hero ult santa because it's the white hair with the red that makes with sense. the red vest. That makes sense. And I know Corbin loves that song. Because <laughs> we listened to it on the way home from uh, the GLEC GLC, finals. Yeah. And we listened to that and Corbin was singing his soul out. <laughs> oh, yeah. I, I think that might have been the loudest I've heard Corbin sing. It was him and Mitch. Him and Mitch were him singing Mitch? it very loud. I think Mitch it, was screaming. I think Mitch has a video of it. Mitch probably does have, or someone has a video of it. Yeah, it was it was loud. It, it, that it bus was very ride. fun. That bus ride was that was, was, that was so much fun. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, that, I even then, like again, so, well played from Gordon. I, well, what I was thinking during that match is, I I kind of understand why they didn't send Little Mac at the start now, because I think they want to save the Little Mac for Mitch. That would make sense. I think Little Mac is probably the best option to deal to deal with Mitch. Yes, mm -hmm. at least in terms of like personal matchup, Mitch has. <laughs> sending a joker for the um for corbin i i like this option i actually I really well. like this option i think this joker's play style is very reminiscent of like an anti-joker no. gameplay i think corbin can at least secure a stock if not maybe two duncan is just vibing dan vibing dancing up all i want to christmas is you 
Yeah, but I, I mean, I really like this, uh... I, I hope he's not priming his menu for that. <laughs> I, think, uh, <laughs> I hope Getting that, the right RNG. Okay, I don't know how useful Bounce is in this matchup, because I think the only projectile he... Oh my god. <laughs> it's mainly um, Joker side B, A-ha. Yeah, A-ha. It also stops counters. Does it? Okay, yeah, yeah, you're uh, right, you're Reflect right. it in the, now, even though it's gone. But it might also just been a... Um, I know some heroes intentionally choose Bounce against like characters that have no projectiles. Just to get it to get out, out of the off the rotation. Menu. That's fair because I I I didn't realize that until I saw <laughs> so, <laughs> that um, that hero might or that Joker might have just died. So a thing a weird thing about this matchup, which I don't think the Joker knows, is so the thwack and whack can kill Joker through his Rebels guard. True, it can because it counts as a grab, right? Or something like that. I don't know that. what it counts as, but it just goes Ooh, through Rebels good guard. Good down smash out of which, the spot dodge, um, catching the down uh, dash attack. Rebels guard is his down uh, down special, which when he gets hit during that, uh, when he gets hit, it fills his Arsene meter up. <coughs> okay, sorry, reading chat. Excuse me. Uh, but I mean, you mentioned it earlier. I, I'm loving. Yikes! Corbin got the stock. He did what? He did his job. He did do his job. Going positive. That's, everyone could ask for going positive. Yep. I think I love going positive. And honestly, if you're playing hero, going positive is like best case scenario, especially if you're the lead. Mm. Uh, but it always feels good to go positive, no matter what. Like, you know, like I did my part. <sighs> yeah, like going positive, it, it feels good because it's like, not only did you do your part, you officially like gotten your team ahead of the other team. Mm -hmm. So like, regardless of how it is, it's whatever so, happens is never we, really your we, fault. <laughs> like because of that now, because of Corbin taking that one stock, we have a lead and counter pick advantage, yep. which is huge. And I think we're getting the Joker ditto and we're sending in Ooh. Alex Damon himself. Alexander Hamilton, founding father. Yes. His name is actually last name Hamilton, so. <laughs> He has a musical written about him. He has, he has an entire... <laughs> they, they made a musical about a Manchester University player. So, <laughs> He's on know. some currency. What, is, what, is your, uh, what does your school have? Not that. <laughs> That's pretty cool. <laughs> Head classes. Okay. Uh, but yeah, no, I think I think the Joker deal is actually like a, kind of an interesting send here. The, literally, the, the <laughs> ditto is who gets Arsene first wins until the other person gets like Arsene. <laughs> I'm not surprised. I feel like a lot of dittos with like that kind of with, comeback mechanic work like that. Especially with um, Arsene, it's so easy to destroy a normal Joker off stage. Because you could just run off Nair his recovery. Not right? even that, just gun. Oh, down, true. down gun and up gun, dude. Because since um, I can't believe that Ar character has gun. Arsene seen... makes Joker's gun for each shot shoot three bullets instead of one, and so that just can eat Joker's recovery, making it very hard for the Joker. Yeah, I, I agree. I think there's a lot of a lot of interesting counterplay that's going to have to be developed here, according to what like what, what, which Joker gets what, what, first. What's he listening to? I couldn't I couldn't see it. Anyone in chat, if you guys could see it, let let us know. I've got to watch you play. Let's go. Let's go, Grimbo Mom. By the way, I did get your your uh, taffy. I did get <laughs> your taffy. By the way, I've been munching on it. Uh, anyway, going into the match, I, I mean, I kind of expected this neutral uh, to be a little bit on the slower side, just because I mean both these characters want to. If if they if you are correct, they want to get this uh, Arsene ideally, and they just want to poke until they can get it and then abuse Arsene until they uh, uh, lose it. Right here, that should be a huge grab, but not gonna quite find it. I like the fair coming down. However, we have Arsene coming out for Joe and Pars on YT or uh, Alex. <laughs> whoops, Alex getting the uh, the second uh, Arsene. He's gonna have it out for just a little bit longer, depending on uh, who gets hit next. Ooh, That's huge a... reflect. That's gonna be a ton of damage coming out. Okay, here we go. Oh, barely oh. missed the grab. There's the back air. Joe no longer has it. Oh, and he gets fair off stage. <coughs> That's crazy be a down, down smash, smash coming for the ledge trap, and that's gonna be and gun. Not gonna quite hit the recovery. Got, got the hit of gun that sends upwards. Right here. Oh no. Ooh, but Joe actually missed the, the drag down up air to get the confirm. Yeah, right. 
the, the Northern Kentucky. <laughs> That's Joe Mama. <laughs> yeah. oh. <laughs> Sorry, I, anyway. guess I, I had to. Yeah. <laughs> Joe Ooh. taking the first stock, Northern Joe Kentucky. First stock. Honestly, not the worst case because we just answer yeah. back with our own down air. Alex looking back at the crowd behind him. Saying, yeah, I just did that. I caught that roll in. Anyway, right here, combo's coming out. I do want to point out that the further behind one Joker gets, the sooner they're actually going to get our send. So, uh, so they can utilize it a lot while uh, the other Joker just doesn't have it. So sometimes it might not even be the best idea to get ahead. That's what you really get a catch on that Rebels guard, too. But Alex's um, grabs have been really good this game. Yeah, right here, we just have to see him getting off the ledge, getting a fair one, no combo, though. There's a back air trying to catch his disadvantage. Per that might have been like a frame perfect shield. Yeah, I feel like that that shield had to have come <laughs> out like just barely. Oh, huge back air. This might be it here soon. Catching the roll in again. That was so smart. Here's the more egg out, and he has half his meter left. He still has so much more send that he can go through. We're trying to catch a jump almost super I, smart. I love the idea. <laughs> Oh, he could have. I think he could have uh, ledge trump back aired there. Uh, I think you might be right, but we can tell that the northern, the northern Kentucky Joker really wants this kill. Yeah, and he is going to get the the second Arsene, so uh, it's going to be really important if we can get like a huge get. That was so good. <laughs> that was actually so that was good. Crazy. The jab a, one into run forward down smash. What a call so out. Smart. I think the only thing that could have made it more of a call out is if he up smash instead. That was the only thing that could objectively make it more of a call out. Or, and or honestly, F smash. Or F smash. I don't think F smash is fast enough though, to be fair. Sure. I think just down smash and up smash would be like I, I would a not be surprised if I see Alex post that on YouTube shorts later. Oh yeah. <laughs> Alex is a hundred percent posting that. Let's see, what score is this? It's a score on the right, so that's gonna be Six. Nope, not 86. Six they and not we have, have 86 stocks. Eight. We have eight. Yep, so... I <clears> think... <throat> is, is this time the time for Bowser? From the other team? Oh, Lord. I don't know. I mean, I think they have to send the Mac. They have to save the Mac for Mitch. Yeah, I think Mac because is, that is their, not that's a their bad anchor. Con. Yeah, that's not the worst anchor, especially into... Well, we have a pit. <laughs> yeah. We do have a pit. Um... They might not know that, but... <laughs> they might not know that, though. Depending on how much data they research. But, I don't know. I think... I think, ideally, we definitely... They definitely have to send the Bowser here. Because I, that Mac is too important of a counterpick. <coughs> so, it all depends on how well Alex can do it, deal with that Bowser. Yeah. And I think it's... I feel like Joker kind of destroys Bowser, no? I He could. He does, but... With that, if he um like if Bowser's at kill percent and Joker does not have arsenic, he can struggle a lot. Oh, to I'm kill sure. Him, which that that can be very hard. I'm sure it's all gonna come down to how well you can get Bowser. Uh, if you don't have arsen, because I mean Bowser, even though he's really heavy, his recovery is very linear. Yes. There's not a he has ways to mix it up, but it's not like it, it's pretty direct where he wants to yeah, go. I, I don't know if Alex will do this, but. One of the biggest things that Joker can do against Bowser is counter his recovery, which I think jo uh, Alex will do. Oh, yeah. Since I've seen him do it against other characters. Yeah, I, th I think he's done it against me when we play. Yeah. Uh, but that's, I, mean, I feel like that kind of comes down to how close to the ledge Bowser is going to be mm -hmm. uh, when he actually does go I for mean, that. Even upbeat. with Arsene, he can go fairly far off stage to counter. True. I, I mean, I'm just worried, though, because, like, that's how he's going to be getting a lot of his kills. Yeah. So going too far off stage means that he gets the, the ability to reversal it. And a Bowser... Re reverse edge guarding you can be a little yeah. scary. As someone who's died at like 40 to Bowser <laughs> back air. And I play a heavy. Like... Bowser that, that is not That character can fun. do some <laughs> messed up stuff. <clears throat> yeah, we're just waiting to see who they send in. Looks like they're selecting stage right now. I think it's... Uh, I think it's still on Battlefield, which that leads me to believe it might be Little Mac. I could, that's a good... St oh, oh wait. wait, they're changing, they're changing. <clears throat> I was going to say, that's a, both a good stage for Little Mac and Bowser, so it could have been either. Yeah, I think either or. It's going to be really... I mean, 
I think for either character, Battlefield is really good because I know Bowser players like it because they can use their side B on top of it. Yeah, and, and no like, matter it, what, it'll hit a platform. It'll hit a platform, which is really strong. <clears throat> and that top platform, if you like land with side B on that, can kill really early. Yeah, super early. And as, as, I think if you're fighting a Joker too, like Rebels Guard is such a big thing in the matchup. I think it, that's a Mac. That's a Mac. Or Bowser. Bowser took mid to know. FD. Bowser on FD. Bowser took that might be Bowser's worst stage. That or Kalos. I feel like yeah. I feel like Bowser does not like FD. But the Bowser did take Mitch to FD, and that might be Ken. But best are we stage. are we sent taking are we taking a Joker to FD? Yes, we are. We're taking a Joker to FD. Bowser as Bowser, the big bad guy. I do Mario. not like this idea. If I'm the Bowser, if I see oh I have to fight a Joker, What's your, that oh. sucks. I can't even showing his song now. I, if I have to see I have to fight a Joker, that sucks. If I have to see I have to fight a Joker on FD, where I get out neutral 24-7, I, I don't want to play it. No. I'm not going to lie. Ba like, Bowser, he has insane advantage state, and he's okay in disadvantage. But, like, neutral just isn't the best for him. The, the big thing about <laughs> Bowser, though, especially in a crew battle, is the fear factor he creates. Oh, yes, absolutely. By the way, he's at 56 right now. He has our set. Okay. Okay, we're not doing that that F smash. Yeah, right here, Alex understanding, okay, he wants these kills where I'm just gonna oh. not let him do it. Frame six command grab on Frame that six one. command grab, that is really I mean that's really important, especially for characters that like to shield yeah. or have like something that's countered by shields. Good down air back air right there from the Joker. Oh, that might be it. That's a stock. That's a stock right there. First stock going to Alex. And I feel like I mean, Bowser has very few options to cover <laughs> above him. Like he has up tilt, that didn't reach. That's actually I, I'm really actually so surprised about that. Cause I when I see that tether, I'm like, okay, it hits from everywhere. But I'm surprised to see that didn't hit there. Okay, good shield gets a punish. Fair. I don't know what combos Joker has against Bowser, cause I feel like he's actually so heavy that <gasps> Bowser is so heavy that it's really hard to get well, like kind of super extended of combos. Bowser's best suits is keeping you in the corner. Oh, yes. He has huge hitboxes and strong ones, too. Ones that can cover, like, almost every option. Oh, oh good shield. Okay. I don't like the down air there when I'm Bowser. Oh, no. Okay. I'm about to say, I think that would have been death, honestly. Smart uh, high recovery from the Bowser. Yep, right there, that's going to be another side B. That's going to be Arsene gone here soon, too. Yep, and that's going to be... No, that's not it yet. Bowser was still low, so uh, he couldn't actually take him off stage with him. I like the gun movement there, yes. like to get off of ledge. The, uh, the gun slide. Okay, Good I like snack. the punish there. Jumping over the upbeat. That's going to be a huge punish too. That's dead! Joker <laughs> getting a kill on Bowser, but without Arsene? Never heard of it. Open. Oh, that's dead. GG's. <laughs> <laughs> Alex shaking it off. He did his job. Took what... How many stocks? Four, st four stocks. Four stocks. He took four stocks. Both Corbin and Alex taking four stocks. Leaving yeah. Manchester at seven. Wait, no. Manchester at six. And Northern Kentucky at four. Wait, I need to transition it back. Oops. My bad. I'm being a bad stream host. Frimbo, huh? What? So... And then we're at... We're I, at is, it, is it time for some, some milk? Some coconut milk? Some coconut milk? I think... I think it is a Caden send. Caden? I, I think this is a Caden send 100%. Great send in the Bowser. That, he's going to be in that Nair for days. Yeah. And, and not only that, they have the Mac in the back. I think that's really good for Mac. Mac does not want to fight a pit. Yes. I th now, it depends on K if he goes pit or dark pit. I think pit's the play here. Pit is 100% the play. Uh, pit has an easier time gimping people, I feel. And that's and super that's important, especially Lomax. against Little Mac and Bowser. Yeah. Because those arrows can... They, they, they can gimping, deal with... He might not be gimping Bowser, but you'll at least keep him off stage forever. <laughs> well, I haven't... Now, this is something I do. I don't know... Wait. Uh, a communication error occurred. Oh. Probably putting his controller... Plugging his controller in. He does it every time. <laughs> I think he does it every he does it, time. I do it more than him. <laughs> I never do it. Let it be known. I, I've never oh, done imagine that. Imagine being a wireless controller. <laughs> I mean, I still have to get the Joy-Cons out so I can get it to the connection screen. Fair enough. But uh, I think something really important to mention is that, and it's something that I personally abuse in this matchup, and I don't know if Pit can do the same. 
Good. I, I have this tickle in my throat. I don't know what's going on. Uh, but Bowser's up B, you can trade with it. Mm. You can trade with it super hard. And I know that because every time I fight a Bowser, they're up being and they're at like 50. I can run off stage, fast fall in there. It hits them and they just get spiked. <laughs> and they just go straight down. They fall like a rock. And But what I'm imagining, especially with how Caden um, plays, he's going to keep him like shooting him a couple times off stage with the arrows and then just going to hit a dare. True. Caden because... does love going for that dare. And I, I don't think the dare is going to be the best play here. I, I think it will be once he gets the recovery to, like, a very linear. Yeah, once it's linear, I think Nair's going to be great. But if he can hit that Nair, and it and it, uh, it does the same thing, I think. It, he's going Dark Pit. Dark it pit. looks – well, he hasn't selected it yet. I don't know. I don't – I mean, I feel like Pit is a better option. But if we're going Dark Pit, I don't think it's awful either. Well, I mean, that side B is, like – Deadly against Mac. True. <laughs> it, that side B is very <laughs> that deadly. That says at such Mac. a mean angle. Yeah, that that I mean, cause what it's like straight out, right? Basically. Yeah. So Which, I mean, okay, this is a this is a pretty good send then. I mean, and also, <laughs> I feel like for the range that Lil Mac recovers from, uh, Dark Pit Arrow will be able to hit that range. Oh yeah. Especially since also like, you know, aerial shield is going to be really important. Oh, yeah. Things like that where Bowser, oh, I'm going to hit you in the air. No, I'm going to press orbitals. I get out of disadvantage option. Completely change my momentum. <laughs> now I'm plus and now I punish you for trying to hit me. <laughs> I think, I think, um, if Caden's uh, playing well, we get to really see like his combo game shine in this match. Oh, uh, yeah. Especially against the Bowser. Yeah, I feel like as opposed to like Joker where. Joker has good combos, but they require like platforms and stuff to extend mm. off of. Pit does not have that requirement. Pit, Pit has Pit. like these long winded multi hit combos that can mm. kind of keep you in this vortex for and a then, long like, time. Like, depending on what, like, if you air dodge, or how you air dodge, or what you do after the combo, Pit has something to cover that oh, after yeah. the combo. So, I, I think, depending on how well Caden can play around that fact, I think we will see like Bowser taking a ton of percent from these nairs, these down airs, these up airs. Everything, yeah. Okay, I, did, I did it. I did. I did fast this time. I was, I was fast. Look at you, man. Look at me. I'm stream engineer. A, stream engineer. Hire this man, please. Please hire me. Okay. So Caden uh, at three stocks. Um, Northern Kentucky at um, Bowser at one. Truthfully, I think. I mean, best case scenario, obviously, Caden doesn't lose one, but. I think it's all going to come down to how well Caden can... Oh my god, that was sexy. That was actually <laughs> I've never really seen sexy. that before. I didn't even think they can do, like, fair down smash like that. Okay, there we go with the arrow conversion. Okay, going to get parried by the, the Bowser. However, going to look for some kind of advantage. Not going to quite find it. Okay, where are you S smashing? Okay, well you're S smashing, Caden. <laughs> F smashes around the world. Okay, what's the option here, Caden? Oh, go, don't roll, don't roll against Bowser. Stop it. Okay, I like the side B there. Trying to catch Good him. Era. Loki at ledge. A uh, pit back air kills now. <laughs> Does it kill right here? Oh my God. Pit, pit back air. I've seen kill. Oh, that's like it. Okay, well, instead of he had the edge, but pit backer, I've seen kill at like seventy percent at ledge. Really? Okay. Especially with rage. Oh, you mean like when you're ledge trapping? Okay. Yeah. Yes. Okay. I I think at this point, Caden should be going for that nair off stage at this point because the nair kills. The nair off stage just kills here. I think. As long as Caden plays his normal gameplay, he should get, the kill should fall into his hands. Yep. Okay, right there, that's gonna be an up out of shield. Caden has to make sure he's watching out. This Bowser can totally kill Pit right now. And right there, catching the jump off of ledge right there. Bowser 167, this is very scary. And that's that skill. After all, yeah. <laughs> Good job from Caden. Uh, I assume it's Lil Mac time. Yeah, I Unless feel like this Lil is Mac just a Lil Mac goes someone else. <laughs> I think this is just a Mac send. And I think this is their best case scenario anchor. Yes. I think this is their best case scenario anchor because you have the Ken. And 
Ken, Mac can kind of beat up Ken a good bit. Not it's not like super hard beat up, but it mm -hmm. it's volatile. It's a very volatile. I mean, freestyle. they they we could anchor Duncan. I don't. I feel like I think like Mitch is the anchor. play. Even I'm just, I'm just imagining Samus Lil Mac. I'm imagining Samus Lil Mac. I'm also imagining Little Mac running like max speed at Samus. Yeah. And Duncan's gonna be like, oh hello, and then just gets like clothes hangered by <laughs> Little yeah. Mac. Or like Jolt Haymaker, whatever that move is. So uh, I don't know. I think I think this is definitely going to be a. Uh, I feel like the Mitch send is going to be smarter on the anchor. Yeah. This is assuming, of course, Caden doesn't three stock. Yeah, which is a, a very real possibility. Very real possibility. Mac is kind of buns. Mac is not a good <laughs> character. So the, probably not. In the, probably, but one of the worst in the game. Not, I wouldn't say the worst, but like yeah. bottom I three. I think actually on the most recent tier list, he was like second second worst character in the game. I think he was third. Was he third? Who was second worst? I think Dr. Mario. No, Dr. Mario was like fourth worst, I think. Fourth. No, Dr. Mario was better than Plant, I remember. I remember uh, Dr. Mario was yeah, higher okay, on Plant. Yeah, than Plant. it's actually Plant's higher, but it's... It's Plant higher? Okay, whatever. It's Ganon, Little Mac, then K. Rool. King DDD, Dr. Mario, then Piranha Plant. All I'm saying, guys. And then the me, fifth, Sword Fighter. We're the fifth worst character in the game. We're the first, fifth worst character in the game. We have two bottom six characters on our varsity roster. <laughs> on our roster. varsity roster. And we're still winning! <laughs> who let that happen? Who let, who let the... <laughs> and there's who let Mac. the D3 man? I think through. that's Town and City. Uh, I didn't actually see the stage, so we'll see it soon. If it's Town and City, it's a GG's, I think. For This stage is awful for me. Oh, we have one side. Oh. I mean, I mean no, never no, mind. No, we, never have mind. Four. Yeah, we have four. We have four. Anyway, I'm, yeah, I'm this, this is one of Mac's worst stages. Now, this is dependent on if Caden knows why it's Mac's worst stage. Why is this worst Ma Mac's worst stage? Mac? Because those platforms on the top right and the top left... Mac cannot hit you if you're up there. Mac cannot get up there at all without using literally everything in his kit to get up and, there. Like, the only thing he can really hit you with is up B, and you can just react And if to you, that. you see him jumping to up B, you, you press shield. Okay, now this stage isn't that great, but it's fine, because now you just have to play away from him for while it's FD. Oh, that was actually a really good shield from the uh, from Caden. Okay. I don't like the, the F smash there. I feel like it'd be much better if we try to catch the uh, Jolt Haymaker. Okay, good use of the Woo! shields. Trying to get the punish. Good up there. Oh no. Yep. So, it's looking like <clears throat> Mitch himself is about to step up to the batting yeah. plate. I think Mitch is definitely the best send here. I, uh, I agree. Even though, even though this matchup isn't known to be like especially good for Ken, I think Mitch is a very confident player that he knows, okay, I know what I need to do in order to beat this guy. I'll just do that. Yeah. <laughs> and honestly, I agree. I think like it's that's that that kind of knowledge is very important to have, especially when you're going into a group battle like this. So Yeah, we'll probably see Mitch go in. Or Duncan. But I think Mitch is the more optimal play. Yes. I think. And with how Mitch is playing today. He is playing very well. He's playing nice. He's playing very well. I think even if it goes to a last stock, Mitch is he has that experience mm. of just I'm in the deficit, I'll just play better. Yeah. And he starts playing better. <laughs> yeah, right here, Mitch coming in on the Ken. Ending it off as we ended off last crew battle. However, we don't know if uh you know, maybe this Mac has like some tricks up his sleeve. Maybe he's like, okay. I know this matchup as well. My practice partner is also a Ken, uh, which is entirely possible. That like non-zero chance. Non-zero chance. We can totally see uh, some new some new kind of gameplay come in. <coughs> Good lord! But right here, Manchester versus Northern Kentucky, going in two one go. <coughs> and here we have. And, sorry, excuse me. Yep, right here. Little Mac getting us all 31% on the Ken. But Mitch understands his game plan he has to do. Yeah. Right now, Mitch 
playing very far back. I actually much prefer this game plan when you're fighting a Mac. Playing far back is super important because you know I just need to get like one kind of good advantage state here and I can totally explode this character. Yeah. Um, we, saw, we saw the little Mac just try to do it, but the down smash at ledge against Ken is going to be deadly. Yep. And I don't, I don't like these jump ins. I think Mitch needs to be using a bit more grounded movement in order to try to get in. Uh, he's trying to get these nair conversions, which they are strong. I don't think they're his game plan. They should be his game plan right now. Uh, Lil Mac taking the first stock, but Mitch is not out by any means. No, by no means. But we do have to be careful of this KO punch. If he actually, I think he could have just walked up and KO punched him out of Tatsu. Right here, Mitch getting a Tatsu. No punish because, I mean, that jab is frame one. Yep. Uh, Mitch looking to get these Shoryu's. I don't like ripping Shoryu's like this. It's not really the best thing to do if you're looking just looking to get a kill. That was a really good use of jab two <laughs> and three. There's the focus. Oh. Huge punish. Is that going to be it? That's, That's a stock for Mitch. And so one thing about Ken is when he's at high percent, that rage building up is so good. It just like can eliminate stocks. Oh yeah, absolutely. Right there, huge Tatsu trying to get in. Actually puts him up high so he can't get the, uh, the jab. Mitch but down to last stock. Mitch down to last stock. It's going to be cutting it close. Okay, right here. Try to get the solid conversion. We got the focus coming in. That's going to be a huge punish. That's going to be it. That's yep. last stock. Last stock situation. Mitch at 30%. Little Mac at zero. Anything can happen right here. It takes just a couple interactions, and it might be over for either player. These Tatsus, though, I don't like using Tatsu against Little Mac, especially when you know that the interaction is not going to work. He can, re he can just see, oh, I got hit. I just do this then. Okay, solid combo. Getting another Tatsu. Actually crossing up so he's not getting punished this time. Okay, getting a focus, trying to catch something. Ooh, Lord. He's in disadvantage. He has to recover now. He just managed to find his way back. Okay, playing he's playing very tatsu. patient. But, oh, Lord. He can't this... be doing those until a higher percent. These Tatsus are just not really working out for him right now. Oh, no. And the pivot F tilt is going to bring it to a game three. And that is a communication error. I think Mitch might slam the desk a little too hard. What time is it? It's 8.08. We got we, our game. We might have to we might stop have to, commentating. We might have to stop commentating. We might have to go to our game. Might find some other commentators to... Yeah, wait, actually, Garrett's coming by. Do you guys need to warm up? Yeah. Yeah. So, um, <laughs> unfortunately, we're not going to be able to stream game three of this series. Um, so... That'll be it. It'll be 1-1. One, one. We'll put an update on Twitter and in our Discord for the result of the match. The varsity starts at 8.30. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So you can so, sign off from the stream. Yeah. So for those of you guys who didn't hear what Garrett just said, um, we're not going to be able to stream this last game because we need to practice for yeah. our game. Uh, so, I mean, I think that's going to be it from us. Um, you know, we appreciate you guys for coming out and watching. Uh, but I think that's going to be it from us. Yes. So, Thank I was you for Matthew, watching. Um, also known as Grimbo. Keep up with like the Twitter to find the result yep. of this game, and um, we'll have the varsity nace match at eight thirty. Yeah, so actually, like in twenty minutes. So stay tuned. We'll be playing a bit more, and it'll be our eighteen match. If you want to see how this match goes, as Clay as Clay mentioned, check out the Twitter. Check out our uh, whatever else. If you're in the Discord, look at that. Yeah. Uh, but I mean, I think that is that all. Is that I think all that's we it. have to say? All right. Uh, well, thank you for watching. Thank you guys for watching. We'll. Uh, See you guys back here shortly.